What if you want to change the volume up or down throughout a track at any point? Smoothly make things louder for a moment, smoothly make things softer. Of course you know at the beginning of a track sometimes we want to fade in, at the end of a track sometimes we want to fade out, but if you don't want to change the entire volume up or down you need to use the envelope tool in Audacity. There's other ways to do it, the envelope tool is the easiest. First let's look at some good practices to make things easier to view click between your tracks as you see I'm doing here and make the track you're working on as tall as is uh, useful to you. Whatever makes it easy to see. When you've got a stereo track everything you do, I'm just going to show you how the envelope tool works for a quick moment here, you can see that as I adjust the volume it changes it equally both on the left and right track in stereo. So there's no particular reason you need to see both the left and the right track. So I'm going to drag uh, click and drag the bar in between my two tracks. You can see how that works. And I'm going to drag one down to be as small as possible. That just gets me zoomed in so I can see things easier. Okay, so now we're zoomed in. If you haven't seen this particular view of an audio track, uh, you notice the light gray center and the dark or medium gray upper band. This is because in the multi-tool or the envelope tool, and of course uh, this is the envelope tool and this is the multi-tool we are going to add control points to allow us to change the volume of the track as you saw me do a moment ago I'll show you how I did that remember of course that all five tools the selection tool the envelope tool the pen tool the zoom tool and the track move tool can all be accessed from the one tool the multi-tool so you don't have to keep changing tools when you're in multi-tool mode. Okay I'm gonna stay in multi-tool mode. Let me point out to you some of these little control points that I've added. You can see these little dots. They're pretty tiny. It makes everything uh, else easy to see but it is a little bit of a hassle. Uh, you sometimes have to lean in depending on your eyesight. Alright, when you click you hover over any one of these points you see the two triangles occur when I'm moving around outside of those points I get the regular mouse pointer when I hover over it, I get the two triangles any one of these that when I hover over it I get the two triangles so if I click and drag I can move left or right I can move up or down I'm increasing or decreasing the volume of the music the amplitude of the track um, if I click the inner control point I can actually make things louder than they were originally or I can make them smaller. I like to use the outer points as much as possible because they make gentler changes. Or right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see uh, a little closer what we're working with. I just did control on the keyboard and used the scroll wheel on my mouse. I'm going to click and drag this over to the left and then notice how even though there's no point here when I hover over the t upper edge or over the gray light gray border I get the two arrows that means if I click I've created new control points if you ever can create control points where you don't want them just control Z I'll just show you and they're undone alright I'm gonna put them back in here so and I accidentally let go and started dragging and of course because I'm in multi-tool mode I selected all right, I'm going to click in the middle here. So you see how I'm giving myself a more fine-tuned control by having more control points. It gives me more control, literally, over what I want to do. All right, let's say I want the audio here to fade completely out and fade completely back in. When you use the envelope tool, you can't get the audio to absolute zero amplitude very easily. Uh, it doesn't usually matter. You can make it so quiet that for most purposes it works fine. So let me drag it all the way down like that. and You see how uh, it's a little bit uh, over squeezing it. So I'm going to actually add two more control points here and here. And then I'm going to drag it down in the middle to nothing. All right. Now if I click over here in the zoom area of the track, if I click with the left mouse button we zoom in if I click with the right mouse button we zoom out if you've ever accidentally accidentally clicked there and wondered what to do it's the left and the right right mouse button that will get you into or out of trouble we're going to zoom in here 
and you can see how I haven't gotten completely down to zero. <clears throat> so now that I'm zoomed in, I'm going to click. I'm going to drag this like that. I'm going to zoom in some more. So you see how I'm getting it to nearly zero amplitude. I'm getting it almost all the way down to no volume. In practice, it doesn't really matter. It's very, very quiet. Um, it's not something that your listener is necessarily going to notice. All right, I'm going to add, uh, take a look at these control points here. Try to make a little gentler uh, fade. Depends on, you know, what you want. Uh, I'm just going to hover over some of these control points here and take a look at what kind of fade I've got here. And it can be a little tricky to find your control point. You just got to hover until you see the mouse change and you can see how I'm getting a different kind of fade in and fade out. So control points are very useful but again they're very tiny. Uh, can be tricky to work with. The more that you have the more control you have. There's how you can fade music out. Uh, I keep calling it music really any sound with the envelope tool using control points.